Paul, uh, in my mind, reach the level where the person is majnoon. It's just like when people, they say, oh, I, married, I divorced my wife, I was upset. Does it count? Who's going to divorce their wife and they're all happy? That, does it happen? You divorce your wife and you all, you know, all happy and all, you know, jewelry, you are all happy. Uh, does it happen? No. So being, being bipolar or the likes of those, it is not at an extent where the person is completely, completely, he is so upset that he is majnoon. He is so upset that to the point now he is majnoon. So yep. And being a bipolar also, barakallahu feek, it is not to mean that the person, he will not be getting back to his senses. So these are the four, alhamdulillah, condition for a person to be what? To be considered a person. If he fall into that which is a zina, that he is to be established what? The, the rajim. The rajim. How about if he is not married? How about if he is not married? Or well, he's never been married. How about if he is not married? And or he has never been married. Huh? Naam al jald. That day he be what? He will be lashed. Right? Azaniya to Azani. For the adulterer, female adulterer, male, fajilidu, yani lash them. Kullu wahidun minhum, every single one of them, mi'ata jalda, a hundred lashes. Every single one of them, right? A hundred lashes. But this is in case that there is no, there is no marriage. There is no marriage. Okay, how about if the person is never been married and he is majnoon? How about if he is never been married and he is majnoon? How about if he is never been married and he is majnoon? Huh? The pen is lifted. Rufi'a al-qalam an thalathin. That the pen is lifted upon three. The one that is a baby until he... Right? Until he, yahtalim, until he has puberty, right? And the uh, majnoon, the person that is in, insane or mentally challenged until that his intellect comes back. The last one is the one that is the sleeping person until that he, yastayqidh, until he gets up. Tayyip. So the person that is crazy, I mean, ma'adira, majnoon, he is insane, mentally challenged. And he, barakallahu feekum, he fall into fornication. Then he is not to be, he is not to be stoned, or he is not to be, barakallahu feekum, he is not to be uh, lashed. He is not to be lashed. How about if he is not, he is a slave? He is not to be given the rajim. He is not to be given the rajan. Because remember that, Barakallahu feekum, that the punishment of the free person, I mean, the, of, the, of the slave is half of the free person. The punishment of a slave is half of a free person. He's Muslim, yes, yes. It doesn't matter. And as a matter of fact, and if you remember this, look at this condition. In no way, was it mentioned about what? The deen of the person. In no way the deen of the person was mentioned. That means if, the, if there is disbelievers under the authority, the rulership of the Muslim leader, they live in that land, right? If they commit that, that barakallah fikum, it is to be established upon them. That's why here you didn't see from the condition Al-Islam. Right? It is not to be mentioned in Al-Islam. And as a matter of fact, that you find, inshallah, will come to that. Whereas, at the time of the Prophet, alayhi salatu wasalam, 
when this Yahud, he came and he was what? Denying the fact that the Rajm was in there, in the Torah. And the Prophet, he asked them, How, what do you do with, your, with, your, with those who fall into that fornication? He said, we do what? We? We paint his face. Number two? On a donkey. And we give him a ride throughout the city. Paint his face. Right? Put him on the back of the donkey. And then give him a ride around. So everybody will know. So when that individual, he was hiding about Barakallah fikum the Rajim. Because the Rajim also is in the Torah. Inshallah Ta'ala will clarify that too. So going back to the explanation of Shaykh Rabbi Hafidhahullahu wa ra'a. He mentioned Hafidhahullah that the, the hadith of Umar ibn al-Khattab radiyallahu anhu wa arda, and we mentioned this, alhamdulillah, that when he said that, that I fear, after mentioning that inna Allah ba'atha Muhammadan bilhaq, that indeed Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala sent the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam with the truth, wa anzala alayhi al-kitab, and he, the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Tabaraka wa ta'ala reveal unto him the book. And he say, وَكَانَ مِمَّا أُنزِلَ عَلَيْهِ آيَةَ الرَّجْمِ And from those verses that were sent unto the Messenger alayhi salatu wa salam was the verses of a rajm. He say, فَقَرَأْنَاهَا We read them. طَيِّبْ We memorized them. And we were cautious of them. And we took them, meaning we took them as the rulings. وَأَخَذْنَاهَا he say, وَرَجَمَ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ Umar ibn al-Khattab, he went to say that the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam, he did establish which is the rajim. And likewise, وَرَجَمْنَا بَعْدَهُ Umar, he say, we did indeed establish and perform the rajim after the Prophet alayhi salatu wa sallam. He say, فَأَخْشَى أَنْ يَأْتِي قَائِلْ وَيَقُولْ that I fear, Umar, he رضي الله عنه said, I fear that a person will come later on and he will say, إِنَّنَا لَا نَجِدُ الرَّجْمِ فِي الْقُرْآنِ So he, a person will say that we did not find, we did not find no rajm in the Qur'an. We did not find a rajm in the Qur'an. He say, فَيَضِلُّ And he will be misguided بِتَرْكِ فَرِيضَةِ مِنْ فَرَائِدِ اللَّهِ And he will be misguided by abandoning one of the obligations of Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala upon his creation. He say it was once on in the Quran, and then barakallah fikum, it was being abrogated. It was abrogated. Shah Rabbi Hafidahullah he mentioned after the statement, Imam Ahmed he say. That the had or the legal punishment of a man, and here it also carry out the woman, that he is a fornicator is, if he is in kana, iqrara, if he had confessed to that, or proofs are clear as for the woman, if the proofs are clear unto the woman, طيب, by way of what? By way of habl, by way of pregnancy. A woman that has never been married, barakallah fikum, is pregnant. Or a woman that the husband is not around and she's pregnant. طيب, those are proofs of what? That it is possibly, shuf, possibly, possibly, what? Fornication. Because indeed, accident can happen. Right? Certain things can happen. It might be sounding out to some individual, but 
let's say, and we, alhamdulillah, this is a matter that is, that is verified with the scientists about the, the lifespan of the sperm, of, the, of the, the sperm, right? The sperm elements. Their life span is about four days. So meaning after that, the, the man release himself. So yep, let's say it is on his underwear and the like, or on, the, on a towel and the like of this. That it is not, the, the, the sperm, they are there, they are not dead. But rather their lifespan is about four days before they actually die. Now think about this. If a man, and he has his towel and, and something happened that he released himself on the, on the towel. And another woman used the same towel to wipe her private, for instance. And possibly the, those elements of the sperm get into her. That's a possibility that what? She become pregnant. That's a possibility that she become pregnant. And I remember a few years ago, Allahu A'lam how true, how true is this? We read in, 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 on, on some, uh, we read the, the, something that happened in Florida, where some girls, teenagers, was at a pool. About twelve of them that get pregnant got pregnant. And how did they get pregnant? was that there was from the kids, right? Not a kid, but from those who have a rich puberty that were playing with themselves in the pool and released themselves in the pool. And you all know that Barakallah, Fikum, the sperm, they what? They swim. So all of them, Barakallah, Fikum, got pregnant. Likewise, the same story, Tayyip, or similar to that, happened in Egypt. So this is why, alhamdulillah, this is to be the had, is to be established by the Muslim ruler. Because the Muslim ruler, he will do what? He will investigate. Or whomsoever he delegates, he will investigate. Think about a woman got raped, wal-iyadhu billah. May Allah protect our daughters and our wives and our mothers. So a woman is, yani, he got raped and did not say nothing. Got pregnant from that. Is she to be lashed or is she to be established the rajim? Now you find, okay, she's pregnant, okay, she's pregnant, yeah, she's pregnant. Are you going to say she fornicated, she's pregnant? Perhaps that she was what? She was raped. So all of this will come to a play where the Muslim ruler, before sentencing the person, has to barak Allah fikum do what? Thorough investigation to know that indeed this is what had happened. This is what had happened. This is why, alhamdulillah, it is for nobody to be establishing the legal punishment. No matter how big or small it is, it is left. It is to be left to the Muslim ruler, alhamdulillah. He said a man is yurjam, he is to be stoned. Bil bayina, bil shuhudi, wahum arba'ata. He said that the man is to be stoned by, number one, we mentioned what? He confessed. Right? Meaning it is clear. And all it is by witnesses. And those witnesses has to be four. Not three witnesses. But rather four witnesses. Four witnesses. He say, فَإِذَا كَانُوا ثَلَاثَ If they are three witnesses, he say, عَلَيْهِ It is upon him. يُقَامُ عَلَيْهِ الْحَدْ it is upon the ruler to establish the legal punishment upon those three ones. If three individuals come and say so and so is a fornicator. And there is no fourth. Then the Muslim ruler has to establish what? That which is the legal punishment upon them. Now look how Islam, Barakallah, come to what?